And hello all, Keep Your Frosty here and welcome. So today we are going to go through a fresh reinstall of Empire 2 mod for Empire, okay? Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm literally going to show you the fact that I've actually installed the mod. Okay, we're going to go back and go through all the processes I do. I'm literally going to delete the mod, uninstall the game, reinstall the game and reinstall the mod on the screen, okay? So I make sure you don't miss out on on anything so before we get into that though i want to show you that i've actually installed the sub mod as well for 40 units okay and if I, I did try and do the usa as well um as you can see the united states of america the name have changed but the actual flag didn't so i don't really know um why that is okay so some things don't work for me either now, um, uh, I am thinking of doing a playthrough of this, okay? So if you would like to see that, please hit the like button for me and let me know down in the comments below. And also hit the like button for me if this video really does help, guys, because there's always a chance that YouTube thinks I'm doing something naughty and I could get a strike on the channel, okay? So just um, please show the support. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment, that really does help push the videos out, okay, and if you, if, if this does work for you, which I can't see why not, then please hit the subscribe button, okay, I'm trying to make a little bit of a comeback, so I've been gone for a little while, so I could do with a good pick-me-up, so please, um, show your support there. So, as you can see, we are on the Empire 2 mod, so if we go back to exit the main menu as you can see i got the music turned off obviously due to copyright we are gonna quit once we have come back onto here as you can see it's all finished the first thing you're gonna need to do if you want to do a fresh reinstall i'm going to show you where you need to go to delete the files it's no good you just coming straight to total war empire and, and installing because it'll be so much left behind especially if you've had another mod installed okay like darth mod or anything like that even if you have in tried to install this mod and it hasn't worked just get rid of it all and install the game reset the um give you pc a reboot that means turn it off and on restart the pc okay and start from fresh that's the best advice i can give you because if there is something little hanging around you will get conflicts and it will not um it will just cause conflicts it'll stop the game from working it'll stop the mod from working okay now i've had this in the past okay so what we want to do is go to here right click on your game manage okay browse local files do not uninstall yet and as you can see by here then everything it's going to do anything everything there everything all this all this that you see in front of you will be from the mod so just delete it all okay jubbly jubbly if i try to start the game now it won't work okay this is a good thing then you want to go down to the search go to do, 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 run percent update a percent click okay go down to creative assembly the empire 2 mod by your luck empire everything that's all the scripts etc right click delete so now you've actually gone into the actual files itself and actually deleted them from the game okay now, if you've got anything like Darth mode, make sure everything is gone, guys. Everything. Because it will not let the mod play. So if we click off this now. Back on a minute. Go to recycling bin. So much in here. Just, I'm going to delete everything anyway. Okay, jobs are good on. Delete it all. Should have just gone. And then go to here, manage, and uninstall the game. Now the game now is completely uninstalled, all the files are gone and everything. Okay, so we click off this now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer, um, install um, the game again. And once the game is installed, I'll see you then. Right, so I just restarted the PC. Okay, I like to do that just to make sure everything is really gone because given a good reboot, um, you know then 
everything is gone. So as you can see by here now, Total War Empire. Okay, I'm going to click on that and now I'm going to install it. Yes, install. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take. We're not going to sit here, obviously. Okay, so it'll get quicker than that. So once the game is fully installed, what I'm going to do is I am going to head back and we'll go through the install of the mod, okay? So I will see you shortly. Right, so the game has downloaded. It didn't take too long. So um, you can see by here now we can play it. But before we go into that, what I want to show you, okay? Now, before I play the game, if I go into here, go to run percent app data, go to creative assembly, see how the empire folder is not there. Even though it's been installed and I'm ready to play, it is not where the where it needs to be. So that is the reason you need to start the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to play hope it starts sometimes it comes i had this problem yesterday when i was installing the game i realized that i didn't uninstall everything from last time i just literally uninstalled the game sega right started so that's a good sign that means everything is gone so if it doesn't start that means there's something still there conflicting with the game okay so we just got a single player Grand campaign, just start the game. Your first priorities as a guy. Yeah, 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 right. Okay, there we are. Jobs are good. And now I'm going to exit the windows. Okay, just started up the game, started up the campaign. Now, if we go back down to here, go to run, percent up data, go to creative assembly. As you can see now, the empire folder now is in percent Data. So I had a few comments saying it's saying it can't go into percent update and that's most probably what the issue was It you would didn't start the game first Right, so the game now as you can see is back to the original Total War Empire game but What we need to do now the first thing you need to do Is Go to 7-zip and download 7-zip if you haven't got it already okay i'll leave the link in the description download whatever one is relevant to you then go over to here i'll leave the link in the description head down to install all the made files this below this one okay and download now now when i downloaded this yesterday it took around an hour for me to download it is around 60 gig required see as it says but there so it does did take a while but i've already installed the game so we haven't got to go through that so this um thing that uh, my screen has gone for some reason behind there it's okay right so the next thing then is we need to go to uh folders go to downloads and don't worry it'll be different to that that's just i try to open up in notepad for some reason but just go right click seven zip extract files okay click on the three dots over here and then i go to extract files to desktop press okay and it'll start extracting that could take a little bit of time too it might be quick it might be it all depends on your pc right once that is done you will then have this by here empire 2 total war for 4.4.6 okay so just click on that as you can see up there, I got Empire 2. We we'll click on this. Yes. Okay, next. And I'll say C program. So it'll go to exactly where it needs to go. If it doesn't, you can literally go on to browse for um just follow this link um by here. Follow this by here. Just pause the video and just go there and you'll find it. Next. Um okay, it's saying it already exists. Okay that shouldn't come up with yours anyway so enable if you want any of these um select sub mods these are optional you haven't got to have them okay but if you want um enable unit replenishment okay so if you want your units to replenish just enable that firing arc is off by default just enable the ones you want it gives you a 
a little bit of an explanation what it's like I said enable lighter smoke for slower pc so if you haven't got the best pcs and you want to get the most out of it maybe not maybe enable that sorry okay so once you've done major decisions there go to next and then just go to install okay yes okay so once it's installed i'll come back right so there we have it by and now so if we just click next okay and finish now we will say uh, install is required ccc dependencies press ok and pop-ups if requested we will finish that okay and just pre keep pressing yes obviously needs the uh, correct i've seen and um but yeah now at the bottom it got this yes some will come through at the bottom yes don't see them pop up by a uh, this will yes 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 Okay, now it comes on to uh, the submos. Well, I'll go through that now in a moment. Okay, first thing I want to do is click off this. Let's try the game. Open. It's always a little worry. Is it going to start or is it going to crash? Syria. And there we are. Empire 2 has now been installed. Okay. So that is it for that. Now I will go over now the sub mod for the 40 units. Okay, so if we quit out of this now. And we'll go through that. Right. So um, you have to, to do um, install the sub mod, you have to start up the game again. Okay, now as you can see by I've already recruited. I'm on the fifth turn. I've recruited a full stack the reason i'm doing this is obviously to showcase the mod to show it um works okay you haven't got to do this you can do this after your first turn you can still kind of play the game as you were okay but you need a saved game so what we do then is we save um click on this okay and we'll change this i see the test unit army but they don't worry about that one yeah, that was the other one I done yesterday. Um, test two. Okay, I'll just put test two. Yep. Set. Okay. Exit the windows, and that's the one we'll use. Once it's stopped, right click, browse local files, and then you will go on to sub mods. Forty units army. Okay. There is a tutorial here, so I'll click the tutorial up. Okay, it, it gives you all the information you need um, to install the sub mod. Okay, so if you want to pull that up whilst looking at the videos, just so you're hundred percent know what you're doing, by all means do that. But I'm going to move that over here because I want to show you that. So first thing you need to do is go ES5 editor, click on that, then this one. Okay, go to file, open, save game. And then we'll click the test to empire save open okay and then you click on that campaign save game click on campaign env then even i have to look model yep yeah. click on model okay now by here now you don't have to go no further by here now you will see the 20 by here what you need to do change that to 40 okay file save and jobs are good on now if we click off this now all you got to do now is play the game again
And fingers crossed it has worked. You need to make sure when you not save as, save, save, okay? Yeah. Click off this, click off this, click off this. Off this. Right, single player, load game. Test 2. The one we use, load. And as you can see now, if we go up close to this, this has now gone down halfway. So if we want to recruit more, it's, uh, one, no, that's four. End of turn. Now, as you can see now you have 40 units per stack so if you want to have massive battles okay by all means hit it and um, get those massive battles on the go now that is going to be it for today though okay now i hope i've covered everything well i know i babble on a bit but i hope i have been as clear as i can um if you would like me to would like to see a playthrough of this please leave a comment down below leave and just you know leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel okay the support is very much appreciated i will do everything i can to help if you are having a bit of problems but my advice is go to their discord i'll get the link um and i will put it in the description as well okay because they can ask um more of the technical side to this mod um, when it comes to me, as you can see, it was pretty much straightforward to me. So, if it doesn't work for you, I, 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 I am really haven't got the answers. Okay. So anyway, I hope this video has helped you. Um, I will see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and as always, keep it frosty.